welcome say, to Worship Wednesday, let us all begin by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week's theme is inspire, and inspire means filled with spirit. And there are, are times when all of us can take inspiration from events and people around us. St. Paul was inspired by a vision of Christ to change his ways and be a better person on the road to Damascus. We, we too can be inspired by Christ to change for the better. This week, think about how you can be inspirational. How can you give others a great example or show others how to live their lives in a better way? As Saul was coming near the city of Damascus, suddenly a light from the sky flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? The men who were travelling with Saul had stopped, not saying a word. They heard the voice but could not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground and opened his eyes but could not see a thing. So they took him by hand and led him to Damascus. For three days he was not able to see and during that time he did not eat or drink anything. There was a believer in Damascus named, uh, named Ananias. He had a vision in which the Lord said to him, Ananias, here I am Lord, he answered. The Lord said to him, get ready and go to Straight Street and at the house of Judas ask for a man from, Tartar, from Tarus, his name Saul. He is praying and in a vision he has seen, he has seen a man named Ananias come in and place his hands on him so that he might see again. Ananias answered, Lord, many people have told me about this man and all the terrible things he has done to your people in Jerusalem. And he has come, from, he has come to Damascus with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who worship you. The Lord said to him, go, because I have chosen him to serve me and to make my name known to Gentiles and kings and to all the people of Israel. And I myself will show him that all that he must suffer for my sake. So Anais went, entered the house where Saul was and placed his hands on him. Brother Saul, he said, the Lord has sent me, Jesus himself, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here. He sent me so that you might see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. At once, something like fish scales fell, on Saul's, fell from Saul's eyes and he was able to see again. He stood up and was baptised and after he had eaten, his strength came back. The word of the Lord. Praise be, be to God. God. The media is full of stories about famous people abusing their power and setting a bad example. Are there any heroes anymore? Is there anybody in the world that is still a true inspiration? Maybe we don't need celebrations and people in the public eye, public eye to model how we should be brave, behave. Even those who we find inspirational need a bit of support. It's hard work being, in, being an example to other people and being the awesome person that people need us to be. This morning, we want you to think of someone in the school community who you find inspirational. It could be a teacher, a member of, of support staff, or someone who helps prepare meals every day. It could be a member of the site team or someone who works behind the scenes. Have a minute of silence and think about who inspires you. My grandmother inspires me. This is because she fought cancer twice and won. My granddad had a stroke in 2019. She still manages to look after him, even though she's got arthritis. She still manages to attend every single thing I've done. She still manages to attend mass. She does so many community things within the church. It is honestly, you've never seen anything like this before and it is an inspiration to everyone.
everyone needs reminding that they can be inspirational sometimes. So try today to tell the people you value that they, that you, they inspire you. Sometimes it can seem there's lots of problems in the world. Sometimes it can seem there are a lot of problems in our own lives. However, bit by bit, we can take small steps to help overcome these problems. Let us use our influence for good, helping one person at a time. Throughout history, people have been remembered by their achievements. The names of people who lived hundreds of years ago are still familiar to us because of the great work they have left behind. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci, who painted the Mona Lisa, Michelangelo, who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, and Picasso, who painted the Weeping Woman. They are recognised as great painters. Sometimes the work of great artists is only recognised after their death. Vincent van Gogh saw the, one pain, the only one painting, The Red Orchard, during his lifetime, but he has become one of the most popular expressionist artist painters, and many children will have copied his sunflower paintings in school all over the country. Orchestras still play music by composers who lived hundreds of years ago. Mozart, for example, who was writing music from the age of five and later in life wrote many piano concerts and operas. Works by authors like William Shakespeare and Charles Dickens are still studied by school children around the world. They have died, but their, lives, but their work lives live on after them. And what about Jesus? He never painted a picture but artists have painted more pictures and scenes from his life than any other person. He has never composed a piece of music, but more, but more music has been inspired by his life than anyone else. He never designed a building, but some of the most beautiful and inspiring buildings of the world has been built in glory to him. More words and more books have been written about him and his teachings than about any other person, but the only writing he ever reportedly did was in the sand before he saved a woman from a cruel punishment. Christ's ministry lasted only three years, but over 2,000 years later, he is still remembered. Remembered not for what he left behind, but for who he was and what he did. Who do you think is the greatest living person? What is it that you think makes them great? What would you like them to be remembered for? Consider some of the things Jesus said about possessions, love of others, forgiveness, humility. How do we respond to his words today? The lives of some of the greats of the past can be considered in the, in the light of their achievements and the legacy they left for us today. Lord, we thank you for the, all the people who have in, inspired others and cre created great works of art and li literature. We thank you for the people today who inspired us to do our best and use the talents we have wisely. We especially thank you for Jesus, who is the example of perfect love and obedience. May we day by day try to follow his example and remember his love for each one of us. Amen. Amen. We end our time of prayer together by making the sign of the cross in the name, in the name of the Father, Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.